We started working on Doctor Strange uh, in August in 2016, finishing around 90 shots for the final movie, uh, including uh, effects like fire whips, uh, the portal effects and some relic weapon effects. On set they used LED ropes uh, to represent those whips which were then later replaced by, by our version. So to get this really photorealistic look, it was the, the, the lighting was key. We used the rotomated geometry and lit it with um, a volume light in Houdini that was based on the whip geometry that we generated. The whip setup itself was a, like more like a procedural modeling setup in SOPS than some simulation. We rendered the whips as a huge number of points. In the initial position, the rest position, where it was just a straightened out whip, we uh, would uh, animate a 3D noise through it to get the pulsating movement and had another noise that would really move the strings themselves to get these sine waves moving through it. We generated a p-scale attribute based on the noise and this was used to then feed this in a point replicate. So we got even more points but they were all of the same size and with an additive shader we, we, we got to the final result for one layer and the other layer was using those points again, converting them to a volume uh, and generating an additional temperature volume so we could then uh, use this in a pyro shader and tweak the shader as if it was a, a typical pyro sim but all based on procedural modeling techniques. Other very important layer were the sparks and they were actually the layer where we spent most time on uh, because they got a very distinct look. Um, we could not just render points with motion blur because we, we needed to have full control over the, the fading within the motion blur and also we wanted to add some noise in the motion blur. And the options we had were to like simulate with lots of sub-steps um, but we decided to build a tool that generates lines so we didn't end up rendering with motion blur, we would just generate it in SOPs using ramps in Houdini to say 5% should have this extreme noise and most of them shouldn't and like control every aspect of the look. The portals they generate Doctor Strange and the Sealard to fast travel within the world. The sparks themselves were pretty straightforward setup using pops. Uh, we were emitting based on a rotating circle um, that had some noise mapped onto it for the emission and uh, that we also generated uh, a velocity volume so we could, um, in addition to the inherited rotating velocity, also uh, add some curl noise to it to, to get this uh, distinct look. We used a sing, uh, simple metabol force in the middle to prevent the sparks from entering the circle and then some other custom volume forces to just uh, spread it out in certain areas. 